In this video, we're going to work on a practical example, which as you can see on the screen, let's say this is our, uh, this is our project site that we're going to bring the power from MCC or motor control center uh, all the way to the specific load, in this case, a pump. And we're going to use uh, ETAP cable pulling system to run the cable throughout the whole path inside a conduit and we're going to see how this is going to work now let's together create a new project and let's name it ps for pulling system now let's together create a one line diagram for this example let's put a power grid transformer and a circuit breaker for the transformer let's put a bus which in this case is our MCC bus that we're going to bring the power from to the pump and let's extend a little bit and then let's put our pump load with its cable and let's connect the load our pump to this cable okay now let's set the values Let's put this 4.1, for example, and 100% operational. And then let's put an on my infinity short circuit. Let's put 6% for the ratio uh, for the impedance. And let's go back and work on the transformer. Secondary, let's step it down to 0.48. And let's put it 500 kVA and for the impedance let's put the typical numbers and the breaker size let's put it four hundred amp four eighty fifty percent and sixty five for the short circuit rating and the second breaker first let's select the pump horsepower let's say this pump is fifty horsepower per NEC sixty five amp for the full load amp of its load and let's put the cable size okay now as you can see uh, we had a run of 50 plus 100 plus 30 which is equal to 180 feet so what is important for the cable is the length of it and the size and type of it now from the library list let's select a proper cable and we can choose the two odd nec rubber one per core and click on ok now we're kind of good and the only thing that is left is the rating of the second breaker or the breaker for the pump so let's set it to let's choose from the library a cuddler hammer for example 483 pole and this is a 50 horsepower let's put it 70 amp 480 click on ok and ok and let's run a load flow to see if the everything is set right yes and now let's switch over to the 
cable pulling system from the mode toolbar on the left click on cable pulling system and let's create the first cable pulling system and we're now we're going to switch over the base revision of cable pulling system let's double click to maximize it on the upper left corner of the window that's where the 3d model is shown and we can rotate our view over the xy plane or the z plane to see the elevation on the right corner we have our conduit by double clicking on the conduit we can change its setting the ID of the conduit the type of it which in this case I'm gonna select PVC schedule 80 for example the size of the conduit the outer diameter of this conduit and the thickness of this conduit for the size of this conduit let's select the 4 inch conduit and the friction factor we're going to leave them by default in order to fill this conduit with the existing cable that we already specified in our walnut diagram we're going to click on exist cable on the right toolbar and we're going to drop it inside the conduit a window will pop up which asks about uh, which cable we want to fill this conduit with in this example we only have one cable which was cable one as you may remember and we're going to select that and fill the conduit with this cable one And if you double click on this cable, you will see the settings that we chose for this cable. On the lower side of this window, we can see the percentage of the fill calculated by ETAP. Now let's create our segments. On the lower left corner of the window, we see the fields which specify the name, length, and slope of the segment. The first segment by default is named as segment zero. The length of it, as you may remember, was 50 feet to the, to the north with the slope of zero. The ID for the source and destination of this route would be from MCC to the pump. Now, as you can see on our 3D model view, we have our first segment 50 feet in yellow with zero slope. In order to create the second segment and attach it to the first one, simply click on new segment icon on the right toolbar. The length of this segment would be 100 feet. The slope would be zero. Now we can see three new fields are added. at the bottom of the segments. The first one is the bend location, which is specified as a location zero. The horizontal angle would be 90 degree bend to the west. To have a better view, we can rotate the 3D model in a way that we have a better understanding of this route. Here it is. 
this is our 50 this is our 100 as you can see with a 90 degree horizontal angle we can smooth this band by selecting a bending radius like 5 and you will see it is smooth out now let's create our last segment which is the 30 feet segment to the south let's put the length 30 again the slope would be 0 the horizontal angle would be the horizontal angle would be another 90 degree um, let's put 5 for the bending ratio for the bending radius now we can see our path is complete from the source of the power all the way to the pump 50 feet to the north 100 feet to the south to the west and another 30 feet to the south now that we specified our route from our mcc to the pump we may run a calculation using the calculation cable pull with etap by clicking on its icon and etap would give us the result summary including the maximum allowable pulling tension which in this case is 3195 pounds the equivalent length of cable for pulling of the reel which in this case is zero and the total length of the path of run or run which in this case is 196 and the reference between this 196 and the 180 that we specified is because of those bending radiuses and as you can see we don't have any alarms or warning we may also create a report by clicking on report manager and let's create a complete report in ETA viewer which would give us the information of this cable pulling system